Ahoy, land lovers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. And, uh, welcome back to Goblin Territory, where in the last episode we found the Goblin's secret base. And we aim to make all of their base belong to us by disabling anti aircraft guns that shot down our airplane, which could not hold our massive, impressive knack size, and forced us to, believe it or not, start this level as tiny, irritating, stupid knack. Uh, yeah, for some reason, the last couple of, uh, videos have had me sort of, like, tense. It's probably not even the right word for it, but, like, these sections have kind of been getting on my nerves, but they're, like, not that bad. I guess it's just, like, a lot of little stuff together. And there really is some weird, like, psychological thing that's going on where, like, levels that don't have a lot of secrets are much more likely to upset me. Alright, sorry about that. Had to pause for someone who was walking the world's loudest dog, uh, which I could hear all the way from the street, which is kind of unusual. Ah, good. The old triple arrow guy. Yeah. Gotta be honest. I didn't miss you. Uh, yeah, but, like, the levels that have, like, a lot of secrets, even if they're hard, like, I'm like, yes! It's fine. I feel rewarded. But, like, the levels that don't have any secrets in them, like... If bad stuff happens, then it just feels, like, really crappy. It's like, ah, why don't I get any reward for fighting through all these really difficult sections? And I'm really hoping that this is finally a secret. Oh my god, seriously? This level's the worst. I said that last time, and I still don't actually mean it. Oh good, this is much easier than the other section. I'm really good at that. Although part of that is just because I've accumulated extra health. I think... I think, strictly speaking, that was actually harder than the first branch that I did. It just felt easier because I had more health. Not that I was actually taking that many hits during it, but still, makes a difference. Again, there's like a psychological aspect to it. It feels better when you don't have to, like, go completely without taking a hit. Which is uh, kind of a problem because, well, a lot of the times in this game, as we've been over... Wait a minute, what's this all about? This looks like the thing that will take me to the aircraft gun. What is this? Is there another path over here? Or does this lead me, like, a place I already was? Oh, no, okay, no. That just leads me to, like, where we're gonna go after I break all the anti-aircraft guns. Again, who is it that's, like, designing these security doors that's, like... Okay, so we want these anti-aircraft guns to protect our secret goblin territory uh, from invaders. But, uh, you know, just in case someone starts disabling them, we're gonna make it so that once they're all disabled, that's when the door to our secret territory is open. It's like, that just seems like super confusing. Oh, hang on. Oh my god, it's more... It's more... It's more Legos! I'm so sick of this! Do you have any idea how it, like... I want someone in the comments, I'm not going to do this myself, I'm too lazy. I want someone in the comments to figure out how many secrets I've managed to find since entering Goblin territory. And uh, also keep track of how many of them have had useful things in them. Uh, spoiler alert, that's zero. There's zero things that I want inside of them. Yep, it's going to blow up. And I got Sunstone, and there's nothing over here that's cool. Frustration! Alright, I think that's all the anti-aircraft guns. I think it's the first time we've had one of those branching, like, do a couple things where I didn't have some peculiar knack superpower attached. All the more reason to be suspicious about those, like, probably vampire crystals that we didn't pick up earlier. Hey, Doctor. Take a look at this Guardian. Yes, it's fascinating. The goblins have managed to create a thaumatic interface to the Guardian's neural matrix. He's under their control! Uh, yeah. That too. I was just gonna say he looks goofy. The giant box of relics he's carrying. You said get big, right? I get my hands on those relics. I'll show you big. Is the point of that cutscene just to like explain why like there's an above ground guardian? I mean, it did sort of need to be explained, but something about that seemed kind of goofy. Right. Now ah, that went better than it should have. Oh. There we go. More guys. Oh, oh, oh! There's giant boomerang guys now! Yeah, didn't 
feel like this game was missing those, but someone did, and now my day is slightly worse for it. Ugh, god, I hate these, like, repeated waves of difficult enemies. They, like, these almost always end up killing me. I mean, these are meant to be difficult, so, like, it makes a certain amount of sense. But, like, there's just so many of these. I've really just gotten pretty tired of them. Mostly just because they're, like, really unforgiving. Like, I almost always make it to, like, the last wave of these. And then just, like, die. And it's just... It's just really annoying to have to, like, play through the same thing over and over and over again, when, like, ugh. Oh. See, I'm sure that that's the last wave. I'm just, I'm, I'm basically sure of it. Stupid archer. I hate the archers. Actually, I think the normal size archers are actually harder to dodge for the most part than the large ones that shoot three arrows. Now, I know that doesn't make any sense. But that doesn't really matter, because I'm pretty sure that that has typically been the case for me. Oh my god, I hate these so much. One of them is just a sword guy? No, two of them are sword guys. So there were only two giant boomerang guys? I thought, like, I had been dealing, like, damage to these guys and their armor fell off. It's kind of hard to tell at a glance if a... Oh my god, the boomerangs! Oh my god, the boomerang... Okay, no, you just, you just die. I have, like, no health right now. Hey, look who called it! I got to the last part of that fight three times in a row! But it doesn't care. Ugh. Katrina, when you proposed that we have the Doctor find the key for us, I was more than a little skeptical. But now you say they've found a clue. Amazing, isn't it? We spent years looking for the key and they might find it in a matter of days. Shouldn't yeah, we go we're pretty after? awesome. They're doing so well. Let's have them do the hard work. When they're close to it, then we can swoop in and take it. In the meantime, you'll have a chance to finish a little project here. Is he making a giant, like, Tony Stark energy reactor from Iron Man? Kind of looks like it. Heavy machinery, you say? Well, I guess I'm glad to be in a new territory, because I was real sick of that last place. Interesting. Yeah, I was just going to complain about, like, how that last level really didn't seem to be contributing much in the way of, like, new stuff going on. Like, we had the new Beatles, and then we got to, like, the, the actual secret base. Like, what are we on? 8-2? And, like, that was just, like, super lazy. It was just like, oh, look, it's some goblins. Um, this is going to be really hard and annoying, isn't it? I predict that it shall be so. What are these? Sunstone? I guess they are. They look really weird, though. Uh-huh. Do this. Wait for a second. Do that. Wait for a second. Do that. Wait for a second. Do that. Wait for a second. Don't oh, actually wait for a second. Hey, look, a thing. What's in here? Oh, thank God. Some sort of device part. What is this? Double battery part. Or sunstone battery part. Let's think about this. Sunstone gives us an extra, like, spot for energy. Double battery. Ugh, it's just gonna... Ugh. I really just want to finish more parts, like... This is probably more useful to me. Actually, they're about similar. I'm gonna do the one that finishes apart. Thanks again to Katayan the Rope for letting me have some cool power-ups. You're a cool guy. Hope you're enjoying this game and maybe watching these videos. I believe you're watching these videos. Um, right, so now we gotta wait for that thing. Do we gotta jump away? So that was the first... In the entirety of Section 8, that was the first actual secret that I've managed to find. I would be interested to know, now that it would no longer be a spoiler to me, if there were more things there. Haha, I got you. Um, I'm a little bit confused about this up here. Oh, how did I not get punished for that? It seemed like something that should have gone poorly. I can't tell if, the, if I'm supposed to be able to get up on top of those. I'm just going to leave that alone for now, because... I feel like I'm just going to get myself killed by trying to do this. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty tricky platforming section. 
But, I actually don't mind that, because it's a nice change of pace from all the stupid goblin crap that we've been doing lately. Uh, looks different, but isn't breakable. I could use this, I guess. Blup, 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 blup. I guess I have to go up on this thing first. Get one of these. Yeah, look at that. I have four slots for uh, sunstone power charged things. There's a lot of like loose terminology in this game. Like sunstone, get that. What do, what do you call it? Sunstone charge, energy, slot. I don't know. That's why I keep going back and forth and not being like totally sure on. Uh, what to call anything. So I guess if there was something up there, I've already missed that opportunity. Oh, that's probably gonna kill me. Didn't notice that at first. Not sure what we're getting at here. Okay, can't pick those up. Uh-huh. Watch for falling rocks. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Yeah, this level's a lot more interesting than the last two, I would say. Just out of curiosity. Can't go in here, right? Okay. Just wanted to be sure about that. Oh. There's a lot of bombs. By a lot, I mean two. But two is kind of a lot of bombs. Gotta be honest about that. Maybe you have some weird definition of what a lot of bombs is. I consider anything more than zero to actually be a pretty large number of bombs. Oh, it's Boomerangman. Oh, please jump. Dang it. I got caught in my animation. I was aware that it was going to come back, but I thought I could evade it. But I couldn't. I don't know if you saw that. I, I didn't manage to... Avoid getting hit by it. Now, why did that start moving? What is, why is this automated? That's the question I pose to you, dear landlubber. Whoever you may be. See, now the sword guys are going to keep faking me out. And, like, making me think that they are scarier than they actually are. Goblins with shiny metallic objects may be less intimidating than they appear. Oh, look at... Look at them giant pistons. They're pretty scary. Okay, okay. It's a lot of scary pistons. I'm digging this. I mean, I'm probably going to get instant killed by something eventually. But it will feel reasonably well deserved. Everything here looks pretty scary. Oh, not what I wanted. Aha! Oh, Archer guy, you think you're clever, huh? I disagree with your assessment. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Alright, now we gotta get rid of Bombs McGee over here. Despite your flourish, you could not stand up to my flurry of punching you in the heads. There were a lot of those. Oh! I flew up in the air. I'm detecting relics. Ah, here they are. I was confused. I was distracted by the sword-wielding man. Oh, that was weird. Okay, this I think that's pretty good proof that the idea that they're all directly inverse to how many, like, size and how many relics you get. I think that's pretty good proof negative right there. Because that thing was relatively small and gave me virtually no health. Otherwise, I might not have died when trying to figure out how to deal with this fan thing. Uh, I don't actually need this, unless it makes me bigger. I've been forgetting that that is, like, a factor recently. Although it really didn't make me much bigger. So, uh... Okay, it seems like what I want to do there is dodge. Jumping was not good, so dodge is the correct thing to do. It's a lot of fans. Oh, do I want the fans? I'm a little skeptical that I want the fans. Oh, okay, no, I see. It's just sort of like a... See, this is cool. We're doing something a little different again. I like this. This looks really weird, doesn't it? Like, I'm, I'm just focused on trying to move, but like... I can sort of see the weirdness happening out of the corner of my eye. Uh, oh yes, perfect. Two small amounts of sunstone energy. Look at that goblin napping on the job. Oh, there's two of them. Didn't notice the second one at first. I was looking at the guy on the right. The one that just killed me? I was looking at that guy. Dun, 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 dun. This is less Epkotian, this music here than when we were in that, uh, really narrow cave. Ah, oh, cheapest of cheap shots! You are the worst, Super Boomerangman. Ah! Oh, good, more of them. Hey, guess what? Everybody gets one. 
I'm not sure if you guys wanted that prize, but you got them. I do feel a little bit better about using uh, the Sunstone Energy having a fourth charge. So that's a pretty reasonable upgrade. Not a breakable thing. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I was like falling through and I was like, but there was a fan under me, not a trap door. That'd be a pretty big artistic oversight, I think. Ooh. Ooh, breakable? Ooh. Oh. <sighs> it's a really big difference in my excitement level between finding a secret and finding anything other than a real secret. Alright. Another one of these floating sections. Turning is the weirdest part of this, by the way. Okay. Thought maybe that was gonna lead me to something. I look for secrets everywhere, even though it's pretty well established what types of things, what types of areas will find you secrets. Oh, you think you're clever, huh? Oh, dash punch. Yeah, I actually used it. How do you like them apples? I like apples. Apples are one of my favorite fruits. I like cherry flavored things better, but I think in terms of fruit, I actually like apple the most. Does that make sense? Oh, almost just like jumped off into the abyss for no reason. Stomp? It's a really slow obstacle. Oh, wait for it. Oh. Oh yeah, someone pointed out to- wow. Was I really that low on health? It didn't seem like I was that low on health. Oh, good grief. Alright, well, let's pick up this. I think I'm gonna sign off as I'm doing this floating section. And then meet you on the other side in the next episode. So, uh, hope you guys are having a good time watching this. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And, uh, if you did, you know, feel free to comment and tell me stuff you like and didn't like and if you agree with my opinions on things. And, uh, you know, if you really liked it, I hope that you'll consider joining me in the next episode. And if you do, I'll see you then. Thank you.